what I want you guys to think about, if we're trying to eliminate the parameter and you have this cosine and you have sine, we know that that gives us a parametric equation of a circle. So if I want to write the equation of a circle without cosine and sine, or with t, because I know that the parametric um, function, but in, in a linear form, that's going to be x squared plus y squared equals, um, basically, you can think of this squared as uh, you know, r squared. That's from our geometric form, right? r squared, but we're just going to, let's just use the unit circle as 1 squared. Right? That's our, uh, actually, let's think of it as r squared. That's fine. r squared. Use it as that. That's our, that's our geometric form without cosine and sines. Yes? But we know what sine and cosine is as far as parametric form, how they're related to give us a form of circle. And that comes into our Pythagorean identity. You could say that cosine of, uh, we're going to use t, cosine of t or cosine squared of t plus sine squared of t equals 1 squared, or just 1. right? That is your Pythagorean identity. Yes, Pythagorean identity. It's also the parametric. Um, that's our yeah, Pythagorean identity that we can use, just using t as far as theta. So do we know what cosine of t is in this case? No, but can we figure out what cosine of t would be based in this case? Sure, just divide by 5 on both sides. So therefore, we could say, well, cosine of t is x over 5. Sine of t is equal to y over 5. So if I want to look in, if I want to plug in what cosine of t is, well, that's x over 5. So that's simply x over 5 squared plus y over 5 squared equals 1. Now, do I have an equation that only has x and y's and no more t's and sines and cosines? Yes. And now I can just solve this as an equation. If I square this, I get x over 25 plus y over 25. That's x squared and y squared. Yeah, x squared and y squared. Thank you. Then I can get this to equal, or I can get the 25 off the denominator by multiplying by 25 on both sides. And I get x squared plus plus y squared equals 25. And does that now look like a format that we're a little bit more understandable from our geometry class as far as the equation of a circle? Yeah, it's x squared for y squared, where our radius is going to equal 5. 